Welcome again to another day on Bromark Farms. This is just to let you know the process and the progression of the chickies where they hatched out. I got four out of eight, so I'm 50 50. That's pretty good. 50%. I have one down there struggling a little bit if you can get a look at him down there. He's kind of dark. He dug him out this morning. He was wrapped up in his shell. And uh, they ain't picked on him or anything, but he might come out pretty good. The others, you know, they've been sitting in here for a couple days. But uh, just we got some feed in there for him, some water in there. So it's some wood chips down in there this morning for him. And uh, there's where we are with what we're doing. We patched them out, and uh, that's what we got. Hatched them out in the incubator, so uh, we put eight in and got four out. So that's pretty good. So uh, I figure if I put 20 in there, I'll get 10. But I think the next time I got a, I got one of them uh, candlers. Or, you know, one of the little lights that you put underneath them, what they call candling. It says uh, seven days after you put them in the incubator, you check and uh, weed them out. Call them out. Get rid of the ones that ain't got no veins or any kind of sign of life in them. So I think that's the way I'll do it the next time. That way I'll get 100%. But uh, these, to me, they look like a mixture between my... Uh, I got a rooster that's a Rhode Island Red and a Legrin mixed. So uh, the two right here that I'm looking at right here, uh, let's see if I can point out these two right here, they look like uh, my uh, Legrin and Rhode Island Red rooster mixed with an old Jersey Giant I had. And then that one the one with the red head right there. He looks like a uh, mixture between the Rhode Island Red and the Lagrin Rooster and just an old Rhode Island Red Hen. And I don't know what that one right there will be yet. He's kind of, he kind of, he's kind of pitiful. But I, I'd like for him, I'm, I'm rooting for him to survive. He looks kind of all matted up, don't he? Kind of dirty. He had the shell stuck on him like an old turtle shell. He just couldn't shed that for a couple of days. So we, uh, I broke it off of him this morning. Thought I'd free him up and throw him with these others. But he looks like he's got a Liberace jacket on. I don't know what his deal is. He's all matted up still. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I just wanted to uh, let you know where we're at. Stopping in. And uh, we're giving it a try and incubating babies. My uh, chicken population down to 10 hens and uh, one rooster. I took a real hurting uh, this spring for some reason. I had a wine dot rooster and uh, I had a, a broad rock in there and had a Jersey Giant. And uh, boy, something's got in there just in the past month it just destroyed and took I think it's raccoons but uh, I just thought I'd let you stop in and see what's going on on Bromark Farm this morning thank you so much for stopping in subscribe and uh, watch how we learn and uh, let us make the mistakes that you don't make let us make the mistakes for you that's your way you can learn from what we're doing we're just uh I'm just, uh, ain't got no money, but I'm having fun trying to edit and film. So, thank you so much for stopping in. Goodbye.